The era of miners crawling underground with just pickaxes, shovels, and buckets has come to an end. Today's mines are supported not only by human labor, but also by powerful machinery. Among them, there are machines resembling snakes, moles, crabs, worms, and even elephants. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. Are you interested in learning more about these machines? If so, you've come to the right place on our channel. We're about to dive into that very topic right now. Heronect Shaft Boring Road Header To extract something from deep underground, one must descend to that depth. This requires the construction of a vertical tunnel known as a shaft, which can reach depths of up to 4 kilometers. Typically, blasting is employed to create shafts, but here we'll discuss an unusual method that doesn't involve any explosives. The Heronect Shaft Boring Road Header is a massive drilling machine that drives directly into hard bedrock capable of excavating shafts with depths exceeding 1.5 kilometers and diameters of over 12 meters. Furthermore, this 45-meter-long SBR not only breaks up the rock, but also vacuums up the debris, depositing it into a large bucket that lifts the material to the surface. Additionally, the machine automatically reinforces the walls with iron and concrete. However, that's not all. Heronect partnered with Germany's Redpath Dielman Company for two projects, adding a system to freeze the bedrock within the drilling machine. Similar to a dentist's anesthesia, in this case, a freezing system is necessary to solidify underground water and prevent the shaft from collapsing. Shield Machine MDM-5000 If you're interested in machinery, you've probably seen circular shield machines designed for tunnel excavation. They are truly captivating machines, aren't they? They resemble enormous earthworms that chew through the soil to create passageways underground. However, circular tunnels aren't always the best fit for underground mining. This is because flat ground allows machinery to move more smoothly. That's where Robbins Company changed the approach and developed the Square Tunnel Shield Machine MDM-5000. Like traditional shield machines, MDM-5000 is equipped with circular cutters, but it breaks through the rock to create square tunnels. To achieve this, the cutter head constantly oscillates up and down, dropping the crushed rock onto a conveyor belt. The pulverized rock is easily removed by the conveyor belt, and the tunnel walls are reinforced using mesh and other methods. With this mine development machine, it's possible to advance through rocks like granite or shale by over 50 meters in just a week. Drill Rig Epiroc Boomer M20 Once the vertical shaft is completed, horizontal passageways known as drifts are constructed from there. These drifts serve as pathways for machinery, conveyors, and ventilation. During this process, blasting operations are frequently conducted. Initially, deep holes called blast holes need to be drilled into the rock. Explosives are then placed in these holes, and boom, the rock transforms into a pile of crushed debris. Drill rigs like the Epiroc Boomer are used for drilling blast holes. This drill rig is essentially a two-armed monster, capable of drilling in two directions simultaneously but there are also boomer models with forearms. Needless to say, all operations are fully automated. This drill rig can formulate drilling plans on site, control drilling precision, and ensure operator safety. Drill Rig Sandvik DL432I For exceptionally long blast holes, the Sandvik DL432I drill rig is well-suited, capable of drilling holes up to 38 meters deep. During the drilling process, the drill pipes become longer as they penetrate deeper into the rock. Additionally, the laser control system allows for more precise hole drilling. Despite its compact size, this drill rig can drill significantly deep holes by advancing the drill pipes in a rotational manner. Anchor Installation Machine Sandvik DS311 Let's consider a scenario where there's a vertical shaft one kilometer deep, and from that shaft, tunnels branch out underground. 
Imagine a massive rock mass one kilometer in height resting on the ceiling of one of these tunnels. To prevent collapse, various methods are employed to reinforce the tunnel ceiling, and there are many approaches to achieve this. One such method involves reinforcing with anchors. Holes are drilled into the tunnel ceiling or sides, and special steel rods called anchors are inserted into these holes. The Sandvik DS311 anchor installation machine is highly suitable for this task. The machine can handle anchors of various types up to 3 meters in length, positioning them with great precision and securing them in place. Anchors are secured to the rock by means of thrust and cement mortar. This type of reinforcement system using anchors results in a ceiling that resembles a solid rock plate. This method is fast, cost-effective, and reliable. And of course, it's quite impressive to witness. Putzmeister Wetcret 4 There are various methods to reinforce the ceilings and walls of tunnels. For instance, one method involves spraying a special concrete onto the rock surface, which adheres and solidifies to form a protective arch. As you might have guessed, there's a specialized machine for this task as well. The Putzmeister Wetcret 4 is a powerful compressor with wheels that can apply up to 20 cubic meters of sprayed concrete to tunnel walls in an hour. This concrete is transported by special low-profile mixer trucks, like the Mixcret 3 with a height of just 2.2 meters, is ideal for mining tunnels. The Wetcret 4 receives a certain amount of concrete and adds the necessary components to achieve the desired consistency. With a boom that can extend up to 10 meters in full configuration, it sprays the concrete onto the surface. The Wetcret 4 is compact in size, features a reduced turning radius, and even has a specialized crab mode for movement. This makes it suitable for underground mining operations. This machine can easily navigate through low tunnels and perform maneuvers within limited spaces. Truly an astonishing piece of machinery. Joy Shuttle Car, Komatsu Joy 10SC32 How are rocks and minerals transported from mining sites? Various machines have been developed for this purpose, and one of them is the self-propelled Joy Shuttle Car, the Komatsu Joy 10SC32. This vehicle can transport and unload 8 to 30 tons of mined materials at once. Moreover, the height of this car ranges from 1.3 to 2.7 meters, depending on its payload capacity. The first release of this car dates back to 1938, and its basic design remains largely unchanged. However, modern models have certainly been upgraded, featuring enhancements such as surveillance cameras and safer operator cabins. Otherwise, it's still the same self-propelled, self-unloading carriage. 4 FCT Flexible Conveyor Train Of course, there are other means of transportation as well. Let's introduce this enormous snake-like machine, the 4 FCT Flexible Conveyor Train. This conveyor can be easily maneuvered into long winding tunnels and serving as an alternative to stationary conveyors, it can move up to 27 tons of rock or 40 tons of salt per minute. Such flexible conveyor trains can follow behind mining machines to collect extracted minerals and transport them to the surface. Additionally, equipped with a memory system, they can recall their routes, allowing the conveyor train to return smoothly to its original direction. It's like a mining labyrinth's thread of Ariadne. Impressive, isn't it? Water Cannon Elphinstone WR810 The underground water cannon Elphinstone WR810 serves two purposes. More precisely, it involves a massive 11-ton water tank that serves dual functions. The rear and side nozzles are used as needed to suppress dust on the approach route. However, the main role of the WR810 is to wash away fine particles of ore from hard-to-reach areas in the mine and to remotely manage the removal of sediment formed from the fragile rock that collapses within the tunnels. Additionally, this machine is used to wash away dust before applying sprayed concrete in the tunnels. When there's a need to wash something off the tunnel walls, the 8-meter boom is directed toward the target area and a powerful stream of water is expelled. Operators remain in a safe location, overseeing the operation through cameras. It's almost like a giant elephant, isn't it? Continuous Miner Komatsu Joy 12CM27 
Were you aware that coal and other minerals often exist within layers of empty rock known as waste material? To put it in perspective, it's like the cream between the layers of a decorated cake. Various technologies such as continuous miners are employed to extract valuable resources while leaving the waste material behind. The Joy 12 CM27 is one such continuous miner suitable for mining layers with a thickness of 1.6 to 5 meters. While Komatsu offers other models in their lineup, the basic operations remain the same. Like a massive mole equipped with caterpillar tracks, it moves while using its working tools to break apart layers of coal and minerals. Not only does it break the material, but it also gathers the broken pieces onto self-propelled ore cars or belt conveyors. It's incredibly efficient and impressive to watch. I hope the entire video was just as impressive as these machines. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed a video like this and want to see more, please give it a thumbs up. This will be a clear indication to the YouTube system of your interest. Feel free to share this video on social media, leave comments, and engage us without hesitation. All of these actions contribute to positive outcomes. Your happiness brings us happiness too. It's time to say goodbye for now, but I promise that we'll have an incredibly exciting video ready for you next time. You know it's just a temporary goodbye, right? Let's meet again very soon. Goodbye!